Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this episode, it's really really interesting for me because I will show you how to take care of the plants. So when you mimic the nature, you have to consider the water. Also, we have to consider environment and most importantly, the sunlight. But here in the Philippines, sun is not showing that much. So it's really a rainy season here in the Philippines now and it's dying season for my succulents because they have been receiving too much rainwater nowadays. So I have to move them indoors now. Really? Indoors. So what do I need? Yay! Yay! yay the indoor plants. <laughs> no, I really need the indoor grow lights. So without further ado, I have to introduce to you something. And this is really important for us plant enthusiasts. So I have to show you this one. Yeah. So this packaging came from mice mice Mars Hydro LED grow lights. So this is the SP150. They have shipped this for me to do a little unboxing for them. So I think it's really, really timely for us here in the Philippines to have these kinds of grow lights. So I think my succulents will be happy hearing me that I'm vlogging about this now. So let's go and do a little unboxing for this one. Okay guys, I hope you appreciate that little ASMR I did a while back. <laughs> so here's what it looks inside. So here you go. Here's the user manual. Here's the user manual. It details the assembly instructions and other grow tips. So I think it's really helpful. So don't throw this away. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Now next, we have a little artsy. Um, stickers from the Mars Hydro. So next would be the rope ratches. So I think this SP150 LED is really hangable because based from its weight doesn't weigh that much. So I think it's really commendable having this one, especially if you have really small space in your homes or in your condominiums. So I think this is pretty fit for my room because I don't have that much space and grooving with this grow light would really be helpful. So thank you again. So I think there's the hanger and the rope crutches. Now look at this one. This product is packaged with real wood. So let's commend the packaging of this product. Um, this would maintain the quality of our product even while it's being shipped. So there's no damage or no destruction that has happened to any of the items inside this box. So, see? Wow, wow, wow. Here's the grow light. And I think it's different and it's better in quality than those ones I found online. So I have to go near in order to show you that these diodes are really uh, interesting because I think it's really coated to make it water resistant, if not waterproof. So here you go guys. Here's the Mars Hydro SP150 LED and it does not weigh a ton. I think it's really lightweight. So it's good. So again, this is the Mars Hydro SP150 and I, I'll put the link on the description box below. Also, I put my discount code which gives you a discount when you have or when you thought of buying this one.
its grow light will really really help and better quality sturdier material good rope ratchets it's hangable it's really lightweight um they also gave us that manual giving the grow tips and assembly instructions that would really be helpful for all of us plant enthusiasts so don't worry guys i'll make a video a growing video on how this product works on our succulents and i hope our succulents would love it especially with our weather here in the philippines beats the impact that natural sunlight has on majority of our succulents and that's a fact plant will thrive most in ideal and natural conditions not only when it comes to sunlight but also when it comes to the warmth the water level and the pH level of our soil so I know that not all climates and not all environments around the world will support that natural and ideal conditions. So thankfully, we have now the technology to support the growth of our succulents. And with that technology comes the grow light. So we have five interesting topics to discuss to you about grow lights. So number one would be the optimal time when the grow lights will be turned on. Mm, turned on. Number two would be the distance of the grow light from the succulents. Number three would be the difference of the grow light with the regular lights, with the regular LED lights, and of course with the natural light. And number four would be the advantages of using grow lights. And number five, of course, when we discuss advantages, we will also discuss the disadvantages because we will be transparent here. So with regards to the first question, which is the optimal time that our grow lights are supposed to be turned on, my answer would be this depends on the type of the plant. So most plants do need 6 to 16 hours. That would include the lettuce, other outdoor plants, but since our indoor plants really do not need that much specifically the succulents which can thrive in just morning light i turn them on with just one to four hours so it's like them having just the morning light so i hope that as we go along trying those grow lights we can find what is the best or what is the optimal time that our grow lights are supposed to be turned on so yeah okay for the second question or the second topic which is with regards to the distance of the grow light to our succulents most answer from the internet would be 24 to 36 inches but i don't do that i am really fond of doing experiments so Whenever I have some grow light, I try to experiment the plant. So I draw them nearer to the grow light or I draw them farther to the grow light, depending on some factors. And here's why. Okay, for the third topic, which is the difference of the grow light with the regular light and with the natural light. Here is the full spectrum of the natural light. This is the spectrum that we are trying to mimic. So you can see the intensity and the wavelength, so take note of that. So here's the full spectrum of the regular light. See? And here's the full spectrum 
of the grow light. So let's compare the three. So you can notice that when trying to mimic the natural light, grow light could reach the same level of wavelength and intensity with the natural light and you can never rely on the regular light. For our fourth topic, which is the main advantage of using grow light, is that everything depends on us. With the intensity of light or with the amount of time or amount of light we can give our succulents or our plants, um, this depends on us. This depends on our discipline. So we can monitor and keep an eye on its intensity while with the sunlight, it's not an option. So some plants grow well next to a window while some of them need special and monitored condition and grow lights can help us with that. Of course, we are trying to be transparent here. So for our fifth topic would be the main disadvantage of using grow light. So grow light emits ultraviolet light, which is really not good for our skin. So whenever we are trying to switch on our grow lights, make sure that the plants are there and not us. So we are trying to avoid the light. So for me, whenever I have my grow light, I move my working station away from where my succulents are for me to at do away with the light emitted by the grow light. So, having said all that, let us not forget the impact and the benefit that the natural sunlight has on our plants. Try exposing your plants or your succulents to both direct and indirect natural sunlight as frequently as possible. And for all those times that the sunlight or the natural sunlight is missing, grow lights will have our back and can adequately take care of our plants. And that's all guys. And I hope you learned a lot about this episode. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time! Bye!